Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy and pleased to be joining with you today. It's Valentine's Day. And you know me, I'm never the best at dates, but I know this date. So welcome. It is a Wednesday and it is a special day, obviously. So in considering what do I do to um, uh, for this day, do I do what everybody else is doing on love and relationship? So, well, no, let's do something a little bit different because tomorrow, Thursday, uh, 9.30 a.m. Hawaii time, I'll be doing a live stream for the Love, Peace, Harmony Connection. <clears throat> and that I will actually be talking about soulmates. Um, so if you're interested in soulmate and soulmate information, I have a book called Soulmate Karma. Uh, which I'll be giving away to those that come to the Love, Peace, Harmony Connections Facebook page uh, tomorrow when I do this, 9.30 Hawaii time. So that's about six hours earlier than now, wherever you're at. But so if you're interested in that, you can go to Love, Peace, Harmony Connection page and uh, like them and make note of when I go live. But today I decided that I would be focusing on uh, the deeper understandings of love <coughs> and in my book on soulmate karma one of the chapters is dedicated to this subject matter here and so this subject matter here is that uh, what is the greatest love it is the love for ourself and so I'll be talking about that today through this live stream <coughs> and I hope that you enjoy it and get a lot out of it so as always thank you for coming and thank you for hitting the share button Kristen is does a phenomenal job of doing a lot of sharing on my behalf but one of the downsides of that is she gets thrown in Facebook jail a lot so some of these live streams don't have the visibility that they could and should uh, because of the lack of um, uh, restrictions the uh, restrictions that Facebook likes to put on things you know them they're all about the money right so they're happy to spread it if you want to pay them thousands of dollars but if you want to do it complimentary, well, then they're just going to put you in jail. So we're grateful for their service of this live stream, but they're not very nice when it comes to sharing. So thank you all for coming. I'll get off my happy horse with that comment. Um, I guess I should be grateful that they give me this medium to communicate through. Uh, yesterday actually was a live stream that I was very proud of, very happy about. Uh, I thought it was... Um, not something of course that I planned on doing in terms of the uh, what comes out most of what I share is is in what's called flow meaning I'm expressing it in the moment and it's it's guided information and uh, I was very pleased with yesterday's live stream so if you did not see it I highly recommend you go back and watch it and <clears throat> it was it was a very pure and clear message on it's not always the highest and best thing to be right because we can create a lot of karma about being the one who is right. And I offered a lot of uh, val valuable wisdom on how to have a win-win scenario and how to listen well, how to um, put yourself in a position in your relationships where you can uh, bring all of your communications, coworkers, everything uh, to a different, a very, very different front, very different format. Uh, if you pay attention so I do recommend you watch that one again if you haven't and if you have <coughs> excuse me watch it first time but if you've watched it before watch it again so let's see who has joined us today <coughs> welcome uh, Jeffrey Turnbull Aloha and welcome Vanessa and Becky Lafav welcome Janice welcome Lydia and Aloha Jessica Christine Christina Vicole welcome Sarah MacArthur welcome Jota welcome also to Tammy Hunter Sherry Lee Hartree, and welcome Sharon Dodd, Lisa Zarniak, Aloha Kristen Rojas, and welcome Dimple, and Aloha, welcome also to Alexandria, welcome Aloha Jose, Christine Urban, and Sonia Finlay, welcome also to Yolanda, and M.A. Drain, <coughs> Aloha Emmy, welcome Larissa, and welcome also to Julia Abbott and Vanessa, welcome Donna Bawana. Aloha to Deborah Anderson and um, Leon Darling. Welcome, Leona. Terry Poindexter. Aloha. Aloha, Polly, Paula Hyatt. 
And welcome also to Elizabeth Marie. <clears throat> A big happy Valentine's Day to everybody. So uh, one of the things that it would be good for everybody to be aware of is that my spiritual teacher and, and Father Master Shah, who is world-renowned as a miracle healer, is not limited to healing physical bodies. He's actually, his entire um, teaching is built around heal the soul first and everything else can follow. And what does that mean? That means that all the blockages in our lives and all the good things in our lives is related to karma. So if we have soul and soulmate blockages, it's karmic. Ta-da! And so if you would like to heal an existing relationship or a find a relationship, do go to drshaw.com. Kristen is probably rapidly searching for it right now. <clears throat> and under the Dao Chong area, there is a, um, a choice of services specifically for finding true love uh, and for healing a relationship. Um, there is another one in there which is separate from the one I just mentioned, which is for self love self love okay a lot of us have issues with loving ourselves we put ourselves down we minimize ourselves so both of those are extremely affordable and uh and it's in canadian dollars no less and so you know run don't walk to get those because you know this is master shah this the, the cleansing that occurs with these is extraordinary and it creates the highest and best conditions in which you can have love in your life you can resolve these relationships and if you have self-love issues, you can release a tremendous amount of those blockages very swiftly with a singular blessing. So run, don't walk to that. And keep an eye, Kristen is probably locating it, and we'll drop in the post in a little bit. But it's at drshaw.com under the Dao Chong area. And uh, yeah, I think it's listed as Dao Chong Blessings. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome, Gina Vittoria. And welcome uh, to Emmy. I think I've acknowledged everybody. Welcome, David Calabro, coming in from Australia. Thank you. Uh, we have people from all over the world today. I always love to see that, so thanks for mentioning that. Uh, Giota is also from Australia. And so is Larissa. So we've got quite a big crowd. So thank you for taking the time out of your Valentine's Day to come and offer. And thank you, Kristen, for posting that uh, Valentine's Day offer. Um, and again, run, don't walk to that. I can tell you from experience, one of the reasons I found my soulmate was this exact blessing that Master Shah offers. You know, I'm, I'm over a half century years old, so I, I may hold my age well, but one of the reasons why I espouse such reasonable wisdom sometimes is because I've had it, I've got my butt kicked a lot in life. And, um, I definitely had some kind of relationship karma because I couldn't find a soulmate, right? You get a half century years old, you can't find a soulmate. That's karma. And so I ended up receiving one of these blessings from Master Shah, the same kind he's offering right now. And uh, in less than a year, everything changed. So uh, do recommend it wholeheartedly. <clears throat> so let's talk about the subject matter. But first, let's go ahead and connect. Welcome, Nina. So we'll connect heart to heart, soul to soul, putting our Hands together in prayer position. We dropped our left hand in front of our heart center, right hand pointed towards heaven. Close our eyes. And let's fully connect. I will invite in the beings of light. They're all layers of divine down source, all beings of light, <clears throat> serving the plan of the light side. I love you, honor you, respect you. Thank you. Deeply appreciate you. We are so honored and grateful for all that you do. And we invite all layers of divine down source our beloved creator we invite all angels healing angels archangels masters ascended masters gurus lamas sifu saints buddhas and bodhisattvas to join we ask our individual heavens teams guides angels and saints to please join we offer our gratitude especially on this day for your incredible love your support your guidance your presence the invisible things that you do for us day in and day out that we do not see and therefore do not acknowledge. We ask forgiveness for our lack of awareness, our lack of alignment, our lack of honoring and respect and gratitude. <clears throat> we thank you for your presence on this day. We ask that you please guide this wisdom, guide this teachings and the blessings that will come through today. Assist each and every one of us with further developing and opening our heart and our heart center. 
Please bless each and every one of us to clear the blockages to self-love, to have a deeper understanding that the greatest love is the love for self. We are extremely grateful. Dear the source song, song of love, peace and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We invite you, we invite all souls in all universes to turn on their source soul song of love, peace and harmony, to chant with us, to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Thank you. So I don't see any new folks jumping in, so no need to state the obvious. So let us chant to serve. Welcome Sam, welcome Diane, welcome uh, Catherine O'Shea, welcome Seema, welcome Sherry White. Let us chant love, peace, and harmony to connect. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xian er ling, wo ai tran ran ling, rang li hing rang er mu xie xiang, xiang ai ping an he xie, xiang ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So even the song of love, peace, and harmony, what are the first words? I love my heart and soul. <clears throat> what is that? Self-love. I love all humanity, so it's offering love outside of us, creating good karma. Join hearts and souls together. This is a calling. This is sharing a singular message. Love, peace, and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. And this is a carrying forth of the message and the mantra into an, an action. <clears throat> Even if we just sang, I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and I love my soul. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. Isn't that nice, right? I've done that before. I've broken apart each one and sing it in that same tune. And what it does is it actually focuses in on that singular message. So to love your own heart and soul is another way of clearing blockages. Um, what we chant is what we become. It's a one sentence secret. It's sound power. And it carries a message. And Master Shah's wisdom and teaching, <clears throat> soul is the carrier of message. In Tao science, which uses physics to explain soul, it uses physics to explain the mathematics of karma. Physics can explain why we don't have finances. Physics can explain string theory and everything, but it can also explain the interconnectivity of one soul to the next. Physics can explain soulmate issues. So physics would say that message is soul. Soul is message. Message is one of the strings in string theory. <clears throat> the string carries a wave and the wave carries the message. And so when we look at message such as I love my heart and soul and we repeat that, it is so much more than just a cute song that sounds cute. It carries a message which carries a frequency and that message and frequency is a soul. Another one sentence secret. What is the purpose of life? How many of you got this one right? Only about 30% of you know the answer to this. 
What is the purpose of life? The ones that know have heard me say it before. The purpose of life is to serve. The purpose of every soul is the same. It is to serve. So the message, which is a message, it's a soul. The soul's purpose is to serve. The message, I love my heart and soul, is a soul. And it is serving through uh, a sound power. What you chant is what you become. So as simple as it sounds, if you chanted throughout the day, I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. I love my heart and soul. And then you even chant following the tune of love, peace, and harmony. I love my heart and soul. What are you doing? You are bringing the message and you are allowing a soul to serve you. You are clearing blockages. Because what is it clearing? It's clearing messages that are unpleasant messages. Lower frequency messages. Darkness cannot come around you if you're carrying a higher frequency. It's just not possible. Some people, their mind's very, very busy. So what is some of the wisdom? Put your mind on your Ming Men point and chant. In this example, I love my heart and soul. Do you know how hard it is to have a negative thought if your mind is focused on something very specific? It's basically impossible. If your mind is focused on something specific and you give your mind a task like chanting uh, love, peace, and harmony or I love my heart and soul, then you involve your heart, you disconnect your mind, you are now in essence carrying a much higher frequency and you are literally slicing off and weaning away negative thoughts, negative uh, uh, attitudes and patterns. <clears throat> they cannot survive in that light. So it's simple, very, very, very simple teachings. Why don't we employ it? This brings us back to the subject matter of today. The biggest love is the love for ourself. Those that have self-love blockages are very often in negative mindsets. This means we are allowing our mind to guide us. We are not following our heart. We are not flourishing to facilitate our heart opening, awakening, staying open uh, through a variety of ways that have been made available to, to accomplish this. So we're going to talk today about what might close our heart down, what might cause us to have these negative thoughts and patterns, and how we can open our heart and keep it open, how we can release these negative thoughts and patterns and bring about love for self. Okay. <clears throat> so welcome also to Missy Dodd. Welcome Jennifer Maria. Welcome also to uh, Phyllis Casper. And Menina Yanez, welcome, aloha, welcome Kevin Hadley, welcome also to um, uh, Master Elizabeth, welcome also to uh, Christina Marie and Rihanna and Aspasia. Thank you all for coming. Love you. I love all of you. I love you. I love you. Welcome, Ng Sen Fu from Malaysia. Thank you for joining. Isn't that nice? How many of you have done that in a mirror for to yourself? I haven't done it in probably eight or nine years. But it's not, I actually laugh when I do it, when I, when I tell myself I love myself in a mirror because I'm looking around to see if anybody else is watching me do something silly like loving myself in a mirror. But it is, you know, a beautiful way to reconnect with ourselves. So what keeps us in a place where we don't love ourselves. Well, I have my knowledge, but I'm not going to use that at the moment. I am going to share with you uh, information from the source. I'm going to ask for a divine flow. I love all the love you're giving back to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy to receive it. Thank you. <clears throat> so I'm going to connect and I'm going to ask for a message from heaven for everybody regarding this subject matter. And I encourage you to close your eyes to hear this message, okay? So relax, let go of the day, prepare for receiving this message. Be fully present. You may find some very good slices of wisdom in here. So dear my beloved creator, I love you, honor you, deeply respect you, bow down to you. 
I humbly ask for a message for all of these souls that have come and taken time from their busy day, from their Valentine's Day, to receive these messages on why is love for ourselves the greatest love. Please also offer additional guidance and insights as to what happens that inhibits us from having this greatest love for ourself. And some of the things that we may be able to do to assist ourselves to realign to that greatest love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So prepare. <laughs> How? This is the soul of the greatest love. I too have a soul, for I was created like everything else. My purpose is to serve all souls to remind them I was born instantly as every soul is born when there is a never before thought of thought within that thought I am born ponder this for if I am born within a new never before created thought and from each thought comes manifestation the coagulation of energy and matter then it stems to reason that I am within all souls. This includes I am within you. Knowing that I am within you, that you have within you the seed, the original greatest love of your and my beloved Creator, then all that needs to occur is a remembering, remembering of our truth. What covers me up is karma what you would refer to as imbalanced actions, thoughts, words. I am from the moment of most of a human being's birth, clouded by each individual soul's karmic conditions. My role, my job, is to be the light that always shines, to be the medium through which the message of your Creator's greatest love is always and forever emblazoning its purity, free frequency and love vibration through your every moment of existence. There is truly not a moment of all of your existence that I have not witnessed, not experienced or known. And I am here to explain to each of you that as a soul I can be connected to 
I can be asked to serve. It is your conscious connection to me that substantially and dramatically increases my ability to serve you because in that conscious connection to me you are in essence disengaging the karmic fog that creates a veil of separation between me that which is within you and the you personality that is as a result of the karmic fog the conscious connection to me could literally bring about the dissolving of all of the conditions in your life that feel so very painful to your heart there are many that are what would be termed empathic this means that they feel others' pain. This happens because they are not fully connected to the love that I exude. I ask these souls in particular to tune in more to me, the original greatest love that is part of your original soul that is always radiating its light upon your experience. And in this reconnection, you will see through different eyes. You will hear the words of those in your world through the ears of compassion instead of empathy you will feel with a more cushioned heart. You will recognize without taking in the pain and you will be far greater balanced. It is in this realignment that the release of false teaching false messages, false things that have been said to you that you have chosen to believe. These will not be challenged, but naturally released through the manifestation of beauty. The beauty will come to you through new voices, of existing friends through new conditions and experiences the beauty will come in this new way because when you focus upon me your inner greatest love this focus creates the world in front of you that is in the formation of its creation So the dissolving of the negativities would be a natural occurrence because instead of manifesting more of those negativities, your focus is on the greatest love that has been and is innate within. And that in turn creates your future. I believe I have explained this clearly. This process requires only your attention. It does not require a deep meditation. It does not require anything other than attention because I am the heart of your divine creator subdivided inside your original soul in a permanent service to you. Simply connect to me like this. Dear the soul of my inner innate 
original greatest love from my beloved original creator. I am deeply honored for your love. Could you please radiate your greatest love through my life, through my relationships, through my mindsets, beliefs, and negativities? Could you please manifest for me greater and greater love in my life? and bless me to release all things false i would be most honored and grateful visualize me as a radiant pink colored lotus flower within your body i will radiate instantly at a far greater power than I presently do because of your conscious attention to me. Then simply maintain a conscious attention as you work, remember me. As you drive, just reconnect. As you are in a unpleasant communication with another, reconnect and give that person a smile of love. As you move through your day, just reconnect. By doing this every day, your creator, through me, through your original soul, will literally reconstruct your future. I have come to give you this most important highest wisdom it is the highest wisdom because it is the highest and greatest love da i the greatest love melts all blockages it has been my greatest honor to deliver this most precious of messages to each of you. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My goodness. Know how much of that you heard? I just noticed that I finished that the microphone fell down to my shirt. <clears throat> but um, I will do my best to um, listen to it again in my ear and uh, have someone type it out. <clears throat> that was amazing. That was just amazing. I'm glad you're able to hear it all. Wow. I'm going to have to put that in my Soulmate Karma book. That was just, just, just amazing. <clears throat> so, okay, live stream's done. What else do we need to do, right? That was pretty much what everyone's looking for. How do we, um, you know, how do we bring self-healing, love ourselves? There was so much pink, wasn't there? Aspasia says that, yeah. I mean, all I could see was layers and layers of pink, white, pink, white, pink, white. It was like I was in a field of pink and white. It was just amazing. Whew. I think I'll just stay in this field for a while. That was a blessing. I mean, I don't know how much if you noticed, but for those that were truly just connected, we were getting so much love. The source was just coming through, just blasting all of us with huge, huge love. Amazing. 
Who has third eye? Did they see anything? She said, I saw a big ball of pink. I'm glad you guys could hear me. <clears throat> because all I could see was just pink. You know, I was like in the middle of one massive pink flower. Yeah, lots of comments. So um, this one, we will get this one uh, uh, typed up. There's one or two students that are very happy to do that. So I'm very grateful for their service. And we'll make sure we post this one. Maybe try to get it out there today for Valentine's Day. Serve some, serve some folks. Um, let's see some of the comments. Um, beautiful pinks, felt and saw and sending, receiving golden pink. Feminine pink energy. Everyone saw the same thing. Join late, have third eye, but have to watch again. Okay, thank you, Nadia, for joining. And big lotus flower, says Trina. Saw that too. <coughs> That's okay, Kath. You can come back and watch it in a little bit. I just don't want to move away from this frequency, this energy. It was amazing. I just want to kind of stay here. That was a, wow. Even my heart center is, is has a little pain in it because it opens so much more uh, with that message. That was a big, a big aha moment for me too. So, um, let's just go ahead and move straight into some blessings make sure we clear some blockages we'll call forth this soul and uh, um, no need to go into any mind-based stuff we'll just keep doing some healing right may end early but that's okay powers powers given and doesn't matter if it's five minutes or 20 minutes the power is given extraordinary yeah. Kuan Yin, I'm crying, big release. Yeah, that's huge. Powerful message. Great. So we're going to use, I will use Da Ai. This is Master Shao's nose book, Greatest Love. And um, <clears throat> I will use the Da Ai calligraphy to bless each and every one of you. We're going to ask this most amazing soul to enter. Well, she's already with us, right? He, she is already with us. We're just going to ask to reconnect. So let us stay connected. Let us place our hands again in soul light era, hand condition, drop our left hand in front of our heart center. Let us connect. If it's comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear my beloved original soul, dear my beloved creator, dear the soul of the greatest love, soul born within my original soul I love you I am deeply deeply honored and grateful to receive your incredible and unconditional original creator love <coughs> I ask most sincerely from my heart to help me to remember each and every day and throughout each and every day to invoke you to keep my consciousness on your original greatest love, purity, and message. Please. Bless me, bless my future to release negative thoughts, negative reactions, all forms of negativity. Please bless me to see things 
in the future through your eyes of the greatest love. Please bless all my relationships and bless me to see the love. Bless me to see your soul, your greatest love in these other souls I communicate with so that I can align heart to heart, greatest love soul to greatest love soul. Please bless me to release every form, negative mindset, attitude, or belief I have ever held against myself. Please bless me to release all judgment and criticism I have held about myself. Please bless me to see me the way you do with the greatest love. Please bless me to honor, respect, and support myself in the highest, greatest love. I am very, very grateful. Dear the soul of Da I, the greatest love calligraphy in Master Shah's greatest love book, the soul of the countless layers of divine Tao and Source, all the heavens beings of light and heavens animals within, all of the treasures, instruments, blessings within I bow my head to you with gratitude and ask most sincerely for a blessing for my request thank you thank you thank you let us chant da I together if you have a da'ai calligraphy find it trace it with your fingers if you do not that's okay close your eyes to receive the blessing <clears throat> you can if you wish even if you have the da'ai calligraphy just place your palms over it asking it to serve you and keep your eyes closed visualize your heart of heart this greatest love soul, born with your original soul, radiating throughout your entire creation and creating a future in front of you that is harmonious, filled with love. Visualize this. Da -i -da -i. Da I 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 da da i da i da i da i greatest love unconditional love melts all blockages purifies my heart and soul 
da ai da ai da ai da ai da ai da ai greatest love greatest love greatest love greatest love da ai da Let us bow our heads in gratitude to this most benevolent soul, Da I, the greatest love, original soul from original creator that is within our own soul. I see it, like I see our soul as a light being, and I see this huge circle of pink in the middle of our soul. It's like a bullseye, and it's just, it's like, infused in it it's like you know a piece of metal that has been welded into another piece of metal they're just inseparable maybe not the best visual but it's 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 inseparable and it's there and it's always there that's how i see it let us offer our gratitude to this most incredible beautiful soul for its service and always remember to reconnect to it daily uh, and just keep connected, just a thought. I love you, this, my most beautiful, unconditional soul of love, greatest love that came from my Creator. Please continue to bless my day. Okay, keep moving on to your day. You maybe have a negative mindset. Oh, dear my beloved, um, greatest love soul, original Creator, greatest love soul, could you please bless me to remove this negative thought? Thank you move throughout your day another one comes oh okay and you just keep reconnecting to it let it serve you it wants to serve you it's always serving you but our clouds our fog as this i say she because it seemed very feminine she she says she cannot service uh cannot shine through the clouds of her own karmic fog but if we consciously connect she can immediately blast these things away great message great service thank you thank you thank you Lots of lots of happy comments. If you came in late, you missed another exceptional live stream. Not not patting myself on the back and patting heaven on the back. They they offered an amazing uh, slice of wisdom that came through on self love, and uh, 
you would be doing yourself and your soul a disservice if you didn't listen again so truly remarkable so I wish to invite all of you to uh, a live stream I'll be doing tomorrow uh, and I, I, I please share I want to hear your sharing um, and it's a uh, it's love peace harmony connection so the first thing you have to do is type in love peace harmony connection in Facebook and find that page and then like them because they support the love peace harmony movement <clears throat> and uh, I'll be there tomorrow about six hours earlier than now 9 30 my time so what is that 10 30 11 30 12 30 uh, 1 30 2 30 so about four and a say so four and a half hours earlier than three o'clock whatever that is your time okay so take whenever you come here normally minus by four and a half hours and that's when I'll start you'll also see they have a um, place a, a calling on there that I'll be on there tomorrow what I'm going to be doing I'll be talking about soulmate uh, and love and uh, maybe some additional information like this will come up but for those that come I will be giving away a link to access my soulmate karma ebook complimentary okay it's a $13 value you know I, I kept the price very low and um, uh, thank you Kristen for posting the love peace harmony connection uh, post and so uh, please come please go to that page and if you see that uh, request to share my coming there tomorrow this is not for me I'm supporting the love peace harmony connection which is a group of, of um, 20 to 40s uh, youthful group that wants to bring love peace and harmony to humanity and so they've asked me to come on their show and to to do a presentation so if you go there and you share from that page then all of the people you know can also be made aware of this um, movement of love peace and harmony so <clears throat> thank you for your sharing thank you all for coming I'm hopeful that this has served you well uh, as with all things it only works if we apply it so go back and watch this again uh, I will get this in writing the flow and then we will post it for those remember to come back to my page to see the post of this in writing and hopefully have it up there in a little while okay love you love you love you love you love you love you I love you love you love you I'm on my heart happy valentine's day have a great day we will see you tomorrow bye bye everybody